Mystery is solved. We have experienced an earthquake here in Clintonville. What was supposed to calm Clintonville's nerves? Most definitely I'm concerned. This is going to happen again and it's going to keep happening. And I'm looking at a problem. Shook Sharon Binger to the core. They need to own up, uh, own up to their bull. Oh. Because you know what? This is not right. They were all there. She was there. I was there. They were all there. They all said, oh, my God, look at the brand new cracks. Look at the walls. Look at this. Now I'm supposed to just flog this off as nothing? I don't think so. Are you really confident that we're safe? City Administrator Lisa Cuss took residents' questions after revealing the answer to Clintonville's shakes and booms, a 1.5 magnitude earthquake that hit three miles below the Earth's surface. Representatives from the USGS have described our series of events as something called a swarm of several small earthquakes in a very short amount of time. In other places in the United States, a 1.5 earthquake would not be felt, but the type of rock that Wisconsin has transmits seismic energy very well. The USGS still can't pinpoint an accurate epicenter. There is no way to say for certain whether our area will ever again experience an earthquake, but it is still very likely, although not guaranteed, that any future earthquakes that we experience would again be on the low end of the earthquake magnitude scale. A fact that doesn't sit well with Binger. Very scared um, and the whole thing. I don't think it's over with. This is going to keep going. It's been going on for six months and longer. Um, I felt the little quavers here and there. This isn't done. City leaders don't know if they're going to be taking out those monitoring devices. That's because if they get any more complaints of booms or shakes, the federal government is going to have to put in more. In your corner, reporting in Clintonville, Heather Burke, NBC 26.